so we're going to go through your test here today. So just before you keep playing this, I need you to get your um, page that you answer the test questions on in front of you and then be filling in any corrections as we go. So if you look back to the assignment that had the test in it, I have marked it so you will see edited pictures. Now um, marking it that way takes forever so I haven't given a massive amount of feedback on it which is why I'm doing this video here. Um, but you can see on that where you've got it right or where you've got questions wrong. Okay, so if it's not ticked off, I'll have circled where you went wrong in a question. Okay, so um, this was our algebra test. If we have a quick look over here, um, the first set of questions was all on multiplying out brackets. So remember, everything in this bracket has to be multiplied by the number or the letter that is right beside it. So in this case, minus 4 has to be multiplied by x and 5. So minus 4 times x gives us minus 4x, minus 4 times 5 gives us minus 20. Same here, um, we just had to be super careful here with um, our rules with multiplying with negatives. So minus 3x times k gives us minus 3xk, minus 3x times minus t gives us plus 3xt. All right, so there was a few people um, made a wee mistake on that one. Double brackets, um, I would use foil or the smiley face. So x multiplied by x gives me x squared. So that's my first ones multiplied. Then outer, x multiplied by 5 gives me 5x. Inner, 3 multiplied by x gives me 3x. And then last, 3 multiplied by 5 gives me 15. Then, see the way we've got an x squared term, we've got an x term, an x term, and then a number. We can gather these x's together. So 3x plus 5x gives us 8x. So this is our final answer here. This one, um, there was a lot of mistakes with negatives. So most people got this line here correct, but then um, just made a wee mistake whenever they were collecting their z's together there. So minus z, minus 4z, if you think number line wise. So here's zero, you're at minus z, and then you're taking away another four, you're gonna end up at minus five. So just be super careful with, um, your signs in front of numbers. Okay, this one. So same again, foil, four times three gives us 12. Um, outer, four times x, sorry, four times minus x gives us minus four x. Inner, um, six x multiplied by three, 18 x. And then last, uh, six x multiplied by minus x is minus six x squared. So again, a lot of people would have got this line right, but then made a wee silly mistake with their pluses and negatives whenever they were gathering together. So 18x minus 4x gives us 14x. So a lot of people are just forgetting that that negative's there. Oh, this one here, not very many people got this right. So I will um, remind you, this question was 6c plus 4, and then there was a squared there. So you needed to recognize that that means this whole thing is squared. So 6c plus 4 is getting multiplied by itself. So 6c plus 4 multiplied by 6c plus 4. If you apply your foil there, you'll end up with that. And then this wee last one, you um, if you do one wee bit at a time, right? So x multiplied by x gives us x squared. 8 multiplied by x gives us 8x. x multiplied by minus 5 gives us minus 5x. And then x multiplied by minus 5 gives us minus 40. For this one, everything in this bracket has to be multiplied by minus 4. So minus 4 multiplied by x gives me minus 4x. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 gives us plus 8. Then we had to tidy up. So you can maybe see on mine whenever I was doing it, I've scored out things as I've like collected them together. So we only had this one x squared. My x is at 8x, take away 5x, leaves me with 3x. Take away 4x takes me down to minus 1x or just minus x. And then I've got minus 40 plus 8. So I'm down at minus 40 and then I have to add 8. I'm going to come back up to minus 32. So question 2 then was the opposite. Question 2 was factorising. Um, obviously, I, sorry, I don't have the questions here. Um, so I've just done mine on a page. But you have the original questions um, from the assignment and you have your answers. Anyway, question 2 was factorising. So that's putting the brackets back in. So looking at each term and seeing what is common, what we can bring out of the brackets. Now, I'm trying to go through this quite quickly here, but 
if I'm too quick, remember you can go back. I did that revision video so you can go back and look over how we do all these things or look back in your notes, okay? So if we look at this, the only factor that is common to them all is two. So two can go into all of these numbers. So two then we say has to be multiplied by three X to give us six X. Two has to be multiplied by minus six Y to give us minus 12 Y and two K to give four K. Here, the only thing that can come out is N and then that's be tiny, that's a 12 there. We're left with 12 Here's N. What I found. Ooh, minus six N squared uh, plus one. This one here, I think in these ones, a lot of people didn't quite factorize fully. So here you maybe only brought two out, but you could have also brought M as well, because see how like the numbers are both divisible by two, but there's an M in each of these, so the M can come out as well. Two M has to be multiplied by one to give us two M, multiplied by two T to give us four MT. Here, numbers five will go into both of those. If we look at the letters, there's a B in both, so B can come out, and then that's what we're left with. This one here a little bit more tricky. So if we look numbers, 5, 10 and 15, all divisible by 5. Right, letters, so we've got x squared, x and x squared, so we can bring x out. And then y's, we've got y squared, y squared and y, so we can bring y out. And then we are looking to see what we need to multiply by to get every bit. So 5xy, right, so we're looking to get this term. So we've got 5 x to get to x squared we're gonna to have to multiply by x and then from y to get to y squared we're gonna to have to multiply by y so that's where that we x y came from let's look at this one five to get to minus ten we're going to multiply by minus two x we've got y we're going to, have to multiply by y to give us that y squared so that's where that minus two y came from same here five has to be multiplied by three to give us that fifteen x has to be multiplied by x to give us the x squared y is already there so minus three x Okay, question three. So three was substituting values into equations. So two P, and we were told in the question that P had the value of minus three. So two multiplied by minus three gives us minus six. Three P minus two R. My next line then is to substitute for P. So P was minus three. Question told us that um, R was two. So I've just replaced that. So three multiplied by minus three gives me minus nine. Minus two multiplied by two gives me minus four. And again, lots of people would have got to that stage and then made a silly mistake. So minus four, or sorry, minus nine, take away another four, you're going to end up at minus 13. See, P minus R all over Q, substitute in your values. Uh, minus three minus two gives us minus five and divide that by four. You end up with minus one and a quarter or minus 1.25. Um, four. Uh, we had to find s whenever n was 17. So my next line here after writing out my equation is to substitute for n to get the 17. And then from this line to this line, all I've done is the 17 take away one following bid mass, remember, do the stuff in brackets first. And then three multiplied by 16 is 48. This one's a little bit more awkward because this time we were given the value of s was 111 and we had to find n. Now, um, there's a couple of different ways, and you can see I have a different solution out over here. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. So remember, n minus one, all multiplied by three. That's what that means. So the first step I did here was just to divide both sides by three, and then that's going to get rid of that. So 111 divided by three gives me 37, and then I'm just left with the n minus one. So then to get n, we have to add one onto both sides, so we get 38. So a lot of people um, did these two, but the other way around, like the wrong way around, you added one and then you divide it by three and that doesn't work. The other way that you could have done that, if you look over here, um, is to multiply out this bracket first of all. So see if going from this line to this line, I've just multiplied out my bracket. So three n, three multiplied by minus one gives me minus three. Then I have to add three to both sides to get that 114 and then divide by three. So hopefully that shows you why adding one and then dividing by three doesn't work, okay? Now, question five, this one is tricky, okay? So um, we had, I think I might just do it again actually. So six over two X equals eight, right? I'm gonna hide that. So you had to rearrange and make, make X be the subject of the equation. So see whenever the thing, or sorry, no, you didn't, I tell a lie, you had to solve for X, you had to find the value of X. Um, 
see whenever the thing you want is on the bottom line, that's awkward. So the first thing that I would do would be to multiply both sides by 2x. Okay, so 6 divided by 2x multiplied by 2x, well you're doing the opposite there, so you're going to be back where you started, so you're just going to have 6. 8 multiplied by 2x, 8 times 2 gives me 16x. Then I think everyone would be okay with solving from x from this stage, but it's no one to do that first one, that is the tricky bit. So to get x on its own, divide by 16. So 6 over 16 equals x, and then that simplifies down to 3 eighths. I'm just going to swap sides as well there. Okay, so that one there was tricky. Um, and then six people generally did a little bit better here with rearranging to make the, I think it was the letter in the brackets be the subject. So we had to make y be the subject here. So we need to do the opposite of what's currently happening to it. So currently um, 2k is getting added on, so we need to subtract it. Okay, question two. Uh, we had to make c be the subject. This one's a little bit more awkward. So C is getting multiplied by 4 and B is getting added on. So we have to do the opposite of those things. So we need to take B away from both sides. So that's what I've done to get this. And then we have to divide by 4. And then we're left with that and I'll swap sides there. 7, you were given the, um, like the equation for a sequence. And then you had to find the first, the second and the twelfth term. So, uh, oh I haven't written it now. It must have been N plus 2 all squared. So the first term you substitute in for 1, so 1 plus 2 gives you 3, all squared gives you 9, and then it's just the same for all of those. For question 8, you had to find the, the rule for the nth term. This was our sequence. So if we looked here, they were all going up by 4. So that tells you that the number in front of the n is 4. And then remember, this is the first term, this is the second term, third, fourth, fifth. So then you look and see, right, well, for the first term, 4 times 1, because n is 1 for the first term, gives me 4. How do I get to 5? I add 1. Um, check it with this one. 4 times 2 gives me 8. Add 1 gives me 9. Okay, it's a weird for you roll that one, but it works. Uh, I think we did quite well on that, though. Then question 9, you had to figure out from the tables and chairs, remember, the um, missing numbers here. Generally well done, and then find the rule. So again, we're looking here. We were going up. By 2 every time so it's a 2 that goes in front of n and then if you check here 2 times 1 gives you 2 how do I get to 4 add 2 2 times 2 gives me 4 add 2 gives me 6 2 times 3 gives me 6 add 2 gives me 8 and then um, let's see here we had to figure out the number of chairs when the number of tables was 16 generally this one was well done so I'll just let you have a wee look down through that this one here though, it was very similar to that other one where we were doing things in the wrong order. So our number of chairs was 90 and we had to figure out how many tables that was. So we had to take away two from both sides first of all to get 88 and then divide by two and then that gives you 44. Okay, so I know I went through that quite quickly. Generally going over test takes us the full lesson. So if there's anything that you are not sure about in this, then please ask me. Okay, so you can ask on the comment on this post or you can ask in a private comment somewhere, right? So ask me to go over another one in a little bit more detail if you need it. Okay, bye.